Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Entertainment Brick Show. Today, it is time to continue with the LEGO Star Wars Disney Plus TV series LEGO video game I level ideas. I don't know. Long title. You get the gist. Uh, today, we are doing something very exciting. We are actually doing the latest Star Wars show. I've, uh, I've been all caught up. I've done Andor so far. And now the next Star Wars show, the Star Wars show after that, the next live-action Star Wars show, I should probably make that a little bit more clear. The next live-action Star Wars show that we're doing here is The Mandalorian Season 3. Now, at the time of this recording, we are only four episodes into The Mandalorian Season 3, so I have not seen episodes 5 through 8. I've only seen episodes 1 through 4. And I've made four levels. I mean, it is going to be an eight-episode season, so I'm going to do what I've done with all the other Mando uh, uh, videos in this series, which is divide them up into two separate videos with the first four levels in this video, or the first four episodes levels in this video, uh, and then in the next video, part two, when uh, Mando Season 3 ends, I will make that next video for part two, which is the um, uh, uh, the, the, the final, final four episodes. There we go. I completely blanked on what I was going to say there. Season's been very interesting so far. I don't know if I'm crazy about it yet. I feel like there's not really much direction to the season so far. There's been a lot of, like, we. I feel like the first two episodes kind of had a direction, and then everything kind of got resolved in episode two, and then that was it. And then episode three was like an Andor-style episode, which I thought was interesting. I actually enjoyed that episode, to be honest with you, and I actually enjoyed writing out uh, a level for that episode as well. But now, like, with this latest episode, which was episode four, I feel like there was, like, what, what, what are we even doing here? Like, we got some really cool backstory. Not to say that we didn't get anything cool. We got some very cool backstory for um, Grogu in particular. Oh, spoilers. Spoilers for Mando Season 3. By the way, first half of Mando Season 3. Major spoilers. All spoilers. All spoilers of the whole video. So if you haven't seen Mando Season season 3, Episodes 1 through 4, do not watch this video. So, anyways. I uh, just wanted to put that out there before I start talking. But, um... Yeah, we the episode four we got some we got some interesting Grogu stuff. Well, actually, very interesting Grogu stuff. I enjoyed the Grogu stuff quite a bit, and to the point where I even kind of wish maybe that whole Grogu backstory was the entire episode. Kind of wish it was that. Otherwise, there was some you know there was some cool Mando moments and stuff like that. But I don't know. Just like I feel like, I feel like we're we're going nowhere so far. But maybe I bet you that's going to change in episode five. I have faith in Dave Filoni and John Favreau writing this series. So. I just gotta, you know, the, the the episode four is just the kind of weird episode, I guess. That's gonna transition us to another, another, um, uh, another storyline that we're gonna have to follow here for for Mando and and Grogu and Bo-Katan probably. So yeah, now let's. With that all being said, let's get into the episode uh, level one, episode one, the apostate. Before I jump into the level outline here, I just wanna outline some of the rules, some of the regulations that we're kind of following here. We're just kind of explaining what this video basically is. So basically, I design levels based off of The Mandalorian Season 3 in this case, with each episode turned into a traditional LEGO game level with three separate parts per level that you play through. I outline the part of the episode slash level, the characters you play as, and the objective you are playing to accomplish or to achieve in this video here. And with that being said, let us get into level 1, which is called The Apostate, obviously based off of episode 1 of Season 3 here. So we have part one of episode one here, and part one is the initiation scene here, where we see um, in the in the episode <clears throat> we see um, Paz Vizsla's son. We later learn um, basically get initiated into the Mandalorian culture. He gets his helmet. He you know recites the the whatever the initiation speech, but it gets interrupted by this giant crocodile thing. So in this part of the level, you're going to be playing as the armorer Paz Vizsla. And two um, Mandalorian clan Mudhorn members there, just to kind of have some, you know, difference in the in the characters that you play as. And the objective here is to have a giant boss fight with that giant crocodile creature that was in this episode. I don't know exactly what that creature was called. Uh, I don't actually know if the creature has a name yet, but I do remember him being looking like or being resembling a giant crocodile. So I figured, why not call him a giant crocodile creature? So that's that's what we have here. Then for part two here, we have New Navarro, where we play as uh, in the episode. This is when Mando travels to Navarro, and there's this whole they basically you know most of the episode kind of takes place on Navarro with Grief Karga and Mando kind of talking about some things uh, and talking about that Mando's going to need a droid to fly out to the mines of Mandalore. So 
um, and they, they get interrupted by uh, these pirates who are basically uh, trying to go for take a drink at a school in New Navarro because it was originally a bar. I don't know. There, there was a ton of explanation. Yeah, I, I don't need to keep like reciting the episode. Basically, I haven't seen the episode. This is basically what that happened in the episode. So, um, and for part two here, we play as the Mandalorian and this, you know, season three out outfit, which hasn't changed too much. I mean, actually, I don't even really think it has changed at all. But I just wanted to highlight that it was just season three outfit, just in case something did change on his uh, appearance. You also play as Grogu, and you play as Grief Karga in a high magistrate's kind of uh, outfit that he had. Very, very cool outfit that he had in this episode. And the objective is to fight off the pirates in New Navarro. So, what I'm thinking is, basically, you're going to be playing as, again, Mando, Grogu, and Grief Karga. And you're going to be kind of running through Navarro, the streets of Navarro, fighting off pirates. Now, in the episode, there was basically only kind of like a confrontation scene with Mando and Grief Karga and the pirates... Um, just kind of having like a standoff sort of, and um, just kind of have more of a discussion, if anything. But to kind of make this a more playable part of the level, you're going to actually have Mando, Grogu, and Grief Karga run through a linear path in the streets of Navarro to taking down pirates and eventually reach an objective is where it kind of ends. Um, so yeah, you kind of get to explore Navarro in this open area kind of while simultaneously fighting off tons and tons of pirates, even though in the episode there was only a couple. Just kind of makes the part of the level a little bit more playable, or the part of the episode, rather, a little bit more uh, of a playable part for the level. Now, the final part of level one here is Gorian Shard's Ambush, where you're going to be playing as the N1 Starfighter Flyer and the N1 Starfighter Shooter. So, kind of what I'm thinking here is, in LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens, I think it was level two, there was a sequence where you played as Finn and Poe Dameron in one TIE Fighter, and player one would be flying the TIE Fighter around, while player two would act as a gunner, a gunner character shooting down other other TIE fighters and stuff. So that's kind of what I'm utilizing here, that kind of mechanic, which I think was only used once in that game, but I'm going to be ut utilizing it here because there's no other ship that was going alongside Mando. It was just Mando's N1 Starfighter. So, you know, with that being said, one player will be flying the N1 Starfighter around um, and the other will be playing as the gunner of the N1 Starfighter, even though, you know, it doesn't technically have a gunner, but, you, you, gotta, you know, LEGO has a co-op rule. LEGO TT Games has a co-op rule, so there has to be some way to make it co-op, and that's kind of how what I thought. So the objective here is to fight off Gorian Shard's fleet. Kind of what I'm thinking here is it's going to be a space battle, obviously, where um, you have to shoot at certain points on Gorian Shard's main ship there, that flagship, I guess, and it's basically going to be a, kind of like a boss fight against the ships. I mean, there have been many kind of ship battles throughout um, LEGO Star Wars video games. You know, Complete Saga had them. Um, LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars had them, I think, as well. They also had ship battles. And then, obviously, Force Awakens had ship battles. And the um, Skywalker Saga also had ship kind of levels that would uh, um, where you would battle ships. So... That's basically going to be what one of the part this part of the level is going to be. Is it going to be a ship battle where you fight off Gorian Shard's flagship and also his fleet? And that is level one, the apostate. Next, we are moving on to level two or episode two, the Mines of Mandalore. So part one for level two or episode two here is the uh, scene where basically Mando sends out R5 to go and get samples of the air to make sure it's breathable. So in this part, you're going to be playing as the Mandalorian in his, you know, best car armor, season three out, uh, season three outfitters look, and you're also going to be playing as R5. And the objective here is to investigate the cave on Mandalore. So basically, they arrive on Mandalore in the episode, and uh, R5 is sent off alone to go get samples of the air to go kind of track and see if they can actually breathe in it. He gets, you know, taken out by some Alamites, I think they were called. So Mando has to go and rescue him, but to kind of make this more of a playable part for co-op play for lego you know because lego tt games always has co-op play or most of the time has co-op play lego city undercover is an exception but anyways um to make this more of a co-op play part you're gonna you know one player's gonna be able to play as mando uh the mandalorian and the other's gonna be, be able to play as r5 and as both characters you're basically gonna be just kind of sent on this linear pathway through the cave uh, on Mandalore that they enter. You're going to be fighting Alamites and stuff. There's going to be different puzzles to solve to kind of make your way through the cave. And eventually you reach an objective point, which is going to be where the, um, uh, what is it? The the ruins of Mandalore are. 
And, um, yeah, just gonna make that part more playable. The cave is gonna be longer. The cave's gonna have more puzzles and enemies to fight. Just to kind of make it a more playable part of the level there. Then part two of level two here is saving Din Djarin. And with that, you're going to be playing as Grogu. And you're also going to be playing as Bo-Katan in her season three of Mando outfits there. So the objective is to have an actual boss fight with that giant parasite droid. So in this part of the episode, basically Mando gets captured and Grogu goes back to Bo-Katan to go get her help to save uh, Mando. She comes back, goes through the cave, sees Mandalore and such, and then eventually reaches where Mando has been captured, where this giant parasite droid thing, I don't really know what to call it, I don't know if it actually has a specific name yet, has Mando captured and is trying to seal his blood, and Bo gets into a giant fight with this ginormous creature that is, you know, massive and has giant claws and stuff, so you're going to be playing through that sequence where basically what I'm thinking is, like, Mando's gonna be off to the side, like, you're gonna be able to see Mando, he's gonna be, like, kind of trapped and stuff, and you're gonna be playing as Bo-Katan, and, uh, as well as Grogu, and the objective is to have this giant boss fight with this giant parasite droid who's gonna be super massive. I'm thinking maybe for this boss fight, just considering this creature is so large and, and bulky and tough to defeat, I guess, well, not for Bo-Katan with the Darksaber, but to make this more of a playable part, it will be a little bit more tough to defeat. There's gonna be, like, some point where it gets weakened, and then you have to hit it on its weak spot and stuff. Uh, also, Bo-Katan will have the Darksaber able, uh, she'll be able to use the Darksaber in this part of the level here, just to kind of, because that's, that's what happened in the episode, so, yeah. That is part two of level two, and then part three of level two here is the Waters of Mandalore scene, where we see the Mandalorian, uh, Grogu, and Bo-Katan make their way to the Waters of Mandalore, and I figure why not just kind of play through that part, much more of a puzzle-oriented kind of part of the, uh, level here. So, in this part of the level, you will be playing as the Mandalorian, Bo-Katan, and Grogu, and the objective is to find the waters of Mandalore. So, similar to part one of this level, it's going to be kind of like this linear path where you just have to solve puzzles and such, and kind of explore these ruins of Mandalore to eventually reach the waters of Mandalore, which is your objective point. That triggers the cutscene, that also ends the level. So, again, it's going to be much more of a puzzle-oriented part um, of the level, utilizing the Mandalorian, Grogu, and Bo-Katan. And then, um, you know, once you reach that objective point, cutscene, end of level, and now you move on to level three. Next up, we have level three, or episode three, The Convert, and part one of level three here is going to be the TIE Interceptor, TIE Bomber scene on the planet of Kavala, I think it's called. I think it's Kavala. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But anyways, this is also going to be a flying part, or flying section of the level here similar to the end of level one where you played as n1 starfighter uh, uh flyer as well as the n1 starfighter gunner and instead of playing as a flyer and a gunner you're actually going to be playing as two different ships here in this part where one player will be playing as the n1 starfighter just n1 starfighter flat you'll be able to shoot and fly with it and you're also going to be playing as um bo katan's fang fighter which you'll also be able to do fly around and shoot as well and the objective here is to defeat the tie interceptors and tie bombers on um, the planet, well, again, I think it's Kavala. I think it's Kavala. So this again is going to be a flying scene or flying part of the level, similar to all the other flying parts of levels in previous Lego Star Wars games, including you know Skywalker Saga, Clone Wars Three, um, uh, uh, Complete Saga, and then Force Awakens as well. Just kind of like that style of level for those games is going to be translated here. Where again, you're going to be playing as the N1 Starfighter and the Fang Fighter. And, uh, again, the objective is to defeat the TIE Interceptors and TIE Bombers. Thinking of maybe even adding, like, a, a health bar at the top for all the TIE Interceptors and TIE Bombers. And once you destroy one, like, the health bar will go down a little bit. And you have to just destroy a certain amount of them to kind of move on in this part of the level. I think I've used that mechanic previously in other parts of other, like, level or other shows that I've done levels off of. So, yeah, that is part one. Part two is going to be the, uh, I, I just titled it the Amnesty Program, just because that was kind of a reoccurring thing in this episode, where you're going to be playing as Dr. Pershing undercover and Alia Kane undercover in their undercover outfits from this part of the episode. And the objective here is to sneak through the train station, and then the next objective is to escape the train. So, if you don't remember, most of this episode was about Dr. Pershing, and as well as Alia Kane working together to basically go get Dr. Pershing his lab equipment back, or some more lab equipment to continue his studies. Um, very interesting episode. It was very Andor-esque, so I, I did enjoy this episode a lot. 
And uh, there was this whole sequence where they were going basically to uh, grab the lab equipment and they had to kind of go through this very, you know, stressful situation of being undercover and trying to go get the lab equipment because you're not supposed to be doing that, of course, in the new the new Republic on Coruscant. So, um, again, you're going to be playing as Dr. Pershing and Elia Kane, both in their undercover outfits. And the objective, the first objective is to kind of make your way through the train station. So there's going to be, you know, a lot of sus- suspicious guards and such. And you have to kind of solve your, some puzzles and things to move your way through the train station. Then once you're on the train, you're going to have to find a way to solve puzzles and other things like that to um, escape the train and get to the end of the train where that, that um, whatever that robot, like, constable guard was, whatever that was, is trying to, you know, kind of chase you to, to go get your ticket. But obviously, you don't have a ticket because you snuck onto the train. So, yeah, that is part two. Part three is the, st- the the setup scene here, the sting operation that basically Elia Kane ran, where, you're, again, you're going to be playing as Dr. Pershing in his undercover outfit and Elia Kane in her undercover outfit. And the objective, the first objective, is to infiltrate the Star Destroyer. So kind of what I'm thinking is this is going to be much more of a puzzle-oriented part of this level where you're going to be playing, again, as Dr. Pershing and Elia Kane, and you'll be solving puzzles throughout the Star Destroyer to open doors and make your way eventually to the lab and then the next objective is to escape the Star Destroyer. So now you have to kind of be a little bit more stealthy. This is going to be a little bit more of a stealth part of this level where you have to kind of sneak through the Star Destroyer as uh, Dr. Pershing and Elia Kane, solving puzzles, uh, you know, continue, continuing to solve puzzles to kind of avoid some of the guards who are kind of overtaking the Star Destroyer to come and find you. So that is level three. Now let's move on to the level four here now we are on to level four or episode four called the foundling this is going to be a very weird level because this is mostly going to be um flight sequences in this level there's a lot of flying with the mandalorians and there's also a whole flight escape sequence with grogu so that's what most of this level is going to be so starting with part one here is um the child being captured here the 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 foundling being captured so if you don't remember from the episode here, it basically in this scene, a giant raptor bird thing comes down and steals Paz Vizsla's son, and Paz Vizsla and the Mandalorian and other Mandalorians fly after uh, the raptor to go and try and save him. So you're going to be basically playing through that sequence of this episode, where you're going to be playing as Paz Vizsla and, uh, as like a flyer, and the Mandalorian also flying. So you're going to be restricted to flying, and you're basically going to be flying in like a set path following after this raptor and the objective is to chase after this raptor bird thing and this is going to be very similar i think the best way to describe this is with lego batman 2 uh that video game there were sometimes levels where you'd be playing as like the batmobile or you'd be playing as like superman and you were strictly able to fly and like attack kind of basically and you you know you'd be flying on the set path trying to follow someone or attack something and you you know you'd only be able to attack and move you'd be stuck flying that's kind of how I'm envisioning this part of the level here, where again you're gonna be playing as Paz Vizsla, Paz Vizsla and the Mandalorian, both in like this strict flying sequence of this level, where maybe you'd be able to like use your blaster while kind of um, flying around and stuff to kind of chase after this raptor. So that is part one. Part two is gonna be another flying sequence here, which is the Order 66 sequence of this episode, where you're gonna be playing as a bark speeder. Bark speeder is the, the type of speeder flyer as well as the bark speeder gunner which and the objective is to fly through coruscant to escape the clones so basically in this scene we get some more backstory on grogu and how he escaped the coruscant jedi temple with the help of the jedi kellerin beck so kellerin beck basically jumps on the uh, on a bark speeder and tries to fly away to escape the clones and he is pursued um, so in this part of the level, you're going to be playing as Keller and Beck, who is flying the bark speeder, strictly just flying sequence again here. And you're also going to be playing as Grogu, who's technically the bark speeder gunner in this case. Again, there has to be some sort of co-op, um, play for this part of the Lego game. So I had to kind of include some other character to play as sort of. So I figured why not include a gunner to kind of, you know, shoot at, um, different clones and stuff that are chasing after you in this sequence. So it's going to be a, um... A set path that you follow as you fly around but again as the uh, bark speeder fly you're gonna be kind of moving around trying to avoid buildings and trying to uh, as well as attack you know some of the clones that maybe you know try and attack uh, trying to stop you from escaping and then again as um, the bark speeder gunner you're gonna be shooting at other clones and stuff to kind of 
um, make your path a little bit more clear. So that is that. That is part two, the Order 66 scene. And then part three here is the, the, the chase after the raptor. This is kind of like the big ending pursuit here. We're going to be playing as another flying section, similar, the same kind of flying section as part one of this level, or this part of the level here, which is you're going to be playing as the Mandalorian and, you know, as a flyer here, Paz Vizsla as a flyer and Bo-Katan as a flyer, where, again, you're going to be set on a set path and you're going to be flying through the air in all of your jetpacks and you're going to be only able to attack and move around to kind of avoid any other attacks from the enemy character here. And the objective is to defeat the Raptor. So you're going to be able to attack and you're able to use your blaster while flying in the set pathway here. So I'm thinking um, you're going to have to kind of shoot at this Raptor to take it down basically. And that'll move you into a cutscene and then the end of the level. So yeah, basically this entire level is all flying, all flight mechanic sequences for this part of the le uh, of or the for this level in this game here and that is going to conclude uh this first video on lego mando season three basically so there you all have it that is the first video of mandalore of the mandalorian season three lego levels here for this part of the video game um i mean yeah that, that's part one Part two, uh, I'm not going to be able to work on yet because I haven't seen all of the Mando episodes uh, yet at the time of this recording. But I'm sure, I don't know exactly when this video is going to come out. It will probably come out after Mando is done airing. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Depends on how fast I get stuff done here. So, um, yeah, that is the first four levels. And, yeah, there you have it. So, if you enjoyed that video, do the comment YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys later.